all right welcome to the third video in this series so we've been able to install node and npm we've been able to set up our projects in the last video we saw uh, how to install dependencies and we created files that are necessary for this project so we want to begin by um, writing the code for the db file check where we'll be looking at how to check if a file exists we want to check if the db.json file exists if it exists then nothing happens but if it does not exist then the code has to be terminated but let's begin by checking how do we check now I told you we'll be learning how to manipulate files. Node.js provides us with an inbuilt module called file system. For us to use this file system, we just need to import it. So what we need to do is import fs, that is short for file system, from fs. You, this will be in quotes, so put this in quotes and that is it come down here and check let's check for the uh, uh what's the name the db.json file now file system provides us with a method known as um exist sync exist sync so let's type it out exist sync exists sync like so now any file you pass into this will be checked and you see if it exists or not so here we are passing in the db.json file so let's do this db.json file now how do we get an output just to be sure if it is true or not let's see uh we could do an if if statement if so if it's a conditional statement that we could use to check if something is true or false and then do some other stuff so the condition has to go inside of this bracket and then whatever I want to happen, if it is true or false, depending on what we want it to be, will go into the braces. So we, we move this into these brackets. Now, if this returns true, let's log to the console. We want this to show on the console. Console.log file exists. So we just type file exists. Now this this is all you really need to check if a file exists. Now to check if this is working, let's run the file by saying node db file check. no db file check we hit now it doesn't return any answer or any response but what happens if we put in a file that exists for example let's do the add data dot js file we save it now let's run this file again you hit enter and it tells us file exists now this is this is because we have the add dot add data dot js file but for the um db dot json file we do not have it so what we want to do here is to check if this file does not exist now if the, if the file doesn't exist we want to return um an output uh, or maybe just terminate the process now how do you check if a file doesn't exist what we will need to do is invert whatsoever statement that we are putting here for us to invert this we need to put 
a, a an exclamation sign here so whatsoever is here will be inverted so this time around we will we'll say file does not exist now if we save this we should get no output because add data.js file exists so this and there is no output now let's change what we have here to db.json again save it now output it output node.js sorry node db file check hit enter and it tells us that file does not exist beautiful that is what we are looking to do so how do we intend to use this code in other files we've we've actually done what we really want to do and that is to tell uh, a person who probably wants to update or maybe remove data that hey the file doesn't even exist so you can't do that but how do we get to use this code in other files it is just like when we say that we'll be using external codes that is code written by other people in our own code for us to use such code for example the fs that is the file system we had to import it now we were only able to import this because they have exported it so for us to be able to use this code in other files we need to export it now how do we export it we use the export command so let's clear this and say export we we'll put default this default keyword is important because it is the first file that we are going to be exporting it is expected that the first file has that default um the default keyword all right now we we can make it an async as an asynchronous function if we want it is not actually necessary then we now use the function keyword function so a function basically packages code and then when you call the function yes it executes whatsoever it's inside that function we will now give the function a name we will name, we'll give it the same name that our file has and that is db file check make sure you open and close braces like this that is the regular braces and then open and close curly braces this is where we will be putting in our code and so let's paste the code that i copied inside of here we can pass in any data that we want just in case of future you'll see where we'll be passing in data um, from these braces that is why the braces are there now if you don't pass in any brace sorry if you don't pass in any data nothing would happen so we are saying that file does not exist here but after this we want to make sure that this code terminates so we will call on a function known as exit now exit is also an imported uh, function or method from a module called process so it was automatically imported for me because I have all that set up in the VS code. So as soon as I hit the exit and put it down there, it imports it for me. I could add one because that, that's the code um, that is used to terminate processes. And that is all you need. In order for you to check if a file does not exist, that is the db.json file, and then terminate the code as necessary. That's all, nothing else now we'll start using this code or we'll call on this function in the future 
not now we'll call on this function when we will be building our update data uh, function and the remove data function but right now this is what we have and i'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll be talking about how to query database and retrieve data see you then